Hey friends, how are you? So uh, in this video, I will be discussing uh, which topics you have to prepare for your CSI exam from physical chemistry. So previously, I made video on the topics from organic chemistry and inorganic chemistry. If you missed that, you can check uh, by clicking the links I give in the description section. Now, when I talk about physical chemistry, it is the very important part of your CSI exam preparation because uh, you know the uh, questions which comes from physical chemistry are very easy uh, i am not saying that it is not conceptual the questions are conceptual but if you know the concepts it is very easy to do them because uh, the questions come every year in a in a uh, particular pattern they follow a particular pattern uh, exceptions in the question is very little so if you uh, can pick up that pattern it will be very easy for you but in case of organic chemistry, it is not like that. Organic chemistry questions are always difficult. They are at, at the same time, they are conceptual and difficult. So uh, in comparison to organic, if you do physical, it is very easy, uh, very easy for you. Now, uh, if you look at the syllabus of the CSI exam, that itself is a good guide for you because uh, the, the topics which are mentioned in the syllabus prescribed by your uh, CSI site, that is uh, sufficient for your preparation uh, be, uh, as uh, the questions which come in exam uh, are not out of that syllabus all the questions are from that syllabus only so uh, this is a good guy but uh, in this video i will tell you uh, some special topics from uh, including this syllabus that you have to focus more so if I talk about that, the first uh, thing which will come is the solid, solid state chemistry. And uh, you, you know the, from the solid state chemistry, the questions which are come, basically they are numerical problems from the Bragg's law or uh, other numerical problems. They are very easy and it is BSc level question. So you should definitely do that. And uh, you should do the Bragg's law. Then uh, the number of atoms occupied by a particular so, uh, uh, crystal like uh, FCC, BCC or that. Then your Miller indices, Weiss indices. And after that, uh, you have to do the uh, density, the formula of density which is given. These things you have to do from the Bragg's law. Only the BSc level things. Then the next uh, easy thing which come is the electrochemistry. Now electrochemistry is also a topic which you already studied in your BSc, so you don't have to put much effort. You have to just cover the things like D by Huckel law, then your conductance, ionic conductivity, these things. So I am just telling about the topics, uh, the superficial things. Uh, when I will discuss more about these particular topics, I will go into deep. But here I, I am talking about only the uh, uh, only the topics. Okay. So then uh, after electrochemistry. Uh, where you will read these things then you have uh, the next thing which comes is the chemical kinetics so this is one of the most important thing and from chemical kinetics is itself uh, almost uh, 15 to 20 question comes every year so you have to do this well and uh, the questions are not uh, not difficult they are very easy questions you have to know the rate law the equations the uh, unit of the first order kinetics um, rate constant second order third order these things and these are all BSc level things. There are some uh, uh, high, high level things, but you can skip them. That is okay. Then the most important thing comes is the quantum mechanics. Now quantum mechanics is a very scoring part of the physical chemistry, but some uh, students are not good in quantum mechanics. They can skip, but still uh, the things which, uh, which are taught in the BSc level like this operator, uh, the postulates, the postulates of quantum mechanics, the five postulates, then your commutator, uh, wave functions and uh, the wave functions which are acceptable, you have to test them, then Hermitian operator, which are Hermitian operator, which are not, these things you have to do because these are BSc level thing and I know all of uh, the students which are uh, studying in MSc, they all know that. Then you have to do the simple systems like simple harmonic oscillator, particle in a box and hydrogen atom. So these things you can easily do. And uh, then if you wish, you can proceed further for the perturbation theory, variation theorem that are MSc level things. But if you do just these BSc level things like this operator and which uh, topics I just told, that is more than sufficient to uh, take almost 10 to 15 marks. Okay. 
and after that uh, it is uh, in the syllabus it is mentioned the bonding like VBT, MOT these are also easy concepts but here the important things are the slater determinant the anti-symmetric principle anti-symmetric principle and the Huckel MO theory these things you can do these are also not very difficult if you read the Mercury book or AK Chandra book you will easily get it and I will also discuss in my video about this so these are from the quantum mechanics this thing I will recommend you to do because uh, this is a very scoring part then after that the molecular spectroscopy it is another important thing and uh, from here also a large uh, large part of the question comes and your molecular spectroscopy you have to do IR uh, Raman and your hmm, rotational spectroscopy so these three things you have to do and these are also BSC level concept the unit of B then all the hmm, uh, formulas how to um, how to uh, calculate the uh, bond length how to uh, from the B uh, that B that is the distance between two lines in the rotational spectra the relation with it with the I that is uh, moment of inertia these things you know and you have to just revise them so molecular spectroscopy is another important thing I will discuss uh, the deep into this when I will do video on molecular spectroscopy then after that uh, the statistical thermodynamics you can do but it is optional you uh, if you don't like it you, you you may skip it but the maxwell boltzmann distribution formula and partition function these two topics you sh should do then after that polymer chemistry this is the important one four marks question uh, always comes from polymer chemistry and for that you have to just re read about the weight average molecular weight number average molecular weight and viscosity average molecular weight these th these things you have to just memor the you have to just uh, uh, do the formulas which are the formulas for these three things so from based on this for formula itself they uh, give questions so this thing you should definitely do after that the enzyme kinetics the michaelis menten equation and uh, zeta potential the colloid these things you can do these are very easy then thermodynamics now thermodynamics is a vast topic okay and all all of you know thermodynamics so there is nothing uh, left about thermodynamics but one thing you definitely do is the maxwell relations there are number of relationships uh, which uh, in the equation form uh, so these you can do by uh, remembering the maxwell formula if you don't know let me know in the comment section i will do a video on that but in uh, every book it is given so these formulas you should definitely know and the seven fundamental formulas of the thermodynamics okay so these things you have to do and after that you can uh, you know the first law of thermodynamics second law of thermodynamics the clausius clapeyron equation the um, in a formula of energy the formula of uh, your uh, heat formula of work these things you all know and you have to just revise the bsc level things so these are the main syllabus of the uh, physical chemistry for your csir exam then after then uh, after that you can do that uh, so uh, another thing very important thing i forgot to mention is that the group theory so group theory is also a very easy part and is a scoring part you should definitely do it so uh, in the group theory the questions give they give like uh, they will give you a character table you have to find out a missing uh, missing row like that so these are uh, tricky problems you should do that without having much knowledge of the knowledge of the group theory and uh, so these are the topics which I think you should prepare for your CSI exam and in case I forget any important thing to mention I will uh, put it in the comment section and description section so you should check it and then uh, so that's all and uh, best of luck for your CSI exam uh, thank you for watching